We've got our giant bird of paradise done up here. Missed a few little spots here at the edge of the canvas. I think the frame will cover that over, but I don't want any little white spots there. Anyway, I'm going to start working on the little sweet potato vine here. And these are mixtures then of my phthalo blue plus lemon yellow plus a little cadmium orange and just a little different green. Don't want all my greens to be the same. And these are heart-shaped leaves. Just add a little bit of romance and love into the painting. Particularly since this piece is a Christmas slash anniversary gift, so it's fun to add some hearts in there. I'm big on adding hearts in paintings anyway, so just. Just, it's lots of fun. So, again, this is one of my bright brushes with the square, square tip, and you can see how I can just shake my little heart-shaped leaves with this brush. I want one breaking out over the edge of the wall here. Again, that just helps add interest. I don't want to take it all the way out into my background, but I do want to just break this vertical line. Some darks in here and leaves underneath will be darker. And these again, there's a wall here that's coming forward, and so these are cascading over. And I even use some mixtures of phthalo blue plus white. This gives me some coolness. Blues are cool, oranges, reds, yellows are warm colors. And so cooler colors go back. So even when you look again at foliage and the different greens and stuff, you have cooler greens that are back in the depth of the foliage or in the shadows. Now I've saved my color that I used for my giant birds of paradise up here and I, I just want to fix that leaf where I painted into it. But I just put a bunch of different color up here. These vines will cascade all the way down and I'm just getting different shapes in here and I'll, I'll come back and define them a little bit better and put some light catch on this one. You know, I may let one break out right there. That just looks like a good place to have a little vine breaking over that edge. That's the fun thing with these little sweet potato vines, is they kind of go this way and that, so you can just really let your brush just kind of dance on the canvas and take it where it wants to go. Now that one, I didn't don't like the shape of it, so I can come back with my some of my wall color and, and fix it. And actually, I think I'm going to take that one out. So again, I have my wall color. This is mixtures of my mud plus which is mud is two parts ultramarine blue and one part alizarin crimson. I've added cadmium orange into this and some white. And there's actually even a little bit of cadmium yellow medium in there. Let's get that front edge just a little bit lighter. Don't want it too light. And then that wall goes back. Just all these little leaves and stuff just make things interesting. I'm going to bring some of my wall back in behind these. depth of the vine. There's just lots of overlapping leaves. And so there's going to be dark leaves back in there. I'll add some of the phthalo blues into here just to drop that. Give it some interest in there. Those differences in color mixtures 
really add to the interest in the painting. You want your viewer to really be able to look at a spot and just to have lots there to look at. Even though it may be painted impressionistically, you've just you've got colors and, and different things in there. I think I'm going to take, you know, a lot of times I put leaves in there and I get too many in there and then I don't like them. So here's a place where I'm just going to scrape that paint off with my painting knife and come back in and repaint that wall in there. Yeah, I like that kind of dipping down. I'll bring a vine through there, but this will... Now I'm going to pull some of my lines into this wet paint of the wall. I'm using my darker color and I can just pull these vines. See, I want to use some of my lighter ones up here, lighter color up here. And I can just pull that into the wet paint and I get a nice little dark in here behind this, the light of this leaf. And I sort of went into that. get going and I paint into stuff I don't want to paint. There we go. Repair that leaf. Now I'm going to use some of my darker, and this is called a fine liner brush. It's a, it's just, it's a sign painting brush, but you can get a real fine line with that. And it's much easier to pull these little fine lines into the wet paint than it would be to do if this paint was dry. If this wall was dry, that the brush strokes would just kind of skip and bump over the tops of that um, dry paint. And with the paint wet, I can just make smooth lines. And these vines have lots of little ones coming down where maybe the leaves have broken off or Again, that just adds texture and interest to the painting. Now here we're going to get a little light coming in here. These, these guys get some light on that little vine, little stems. and So I have a little vine coming up here and it's going to just catch the light. Those little tendrils just make it make it fun. They drape down. And then this one's going to catch the light a little bit. So again, the light's coming in over that wall, so these are going to catch a little light here. The stem actually should come up there. Come back. Move that stem where I want it to be. That's how we paint that sweet potato vine. I'm going to add a little few more little highlights here and there. Just where that sun is just catching those leaves. Catch this one there. That one gets a little bit. And then these up here will get a little bit of sunlight catching them. Get a little tip there. But you can see how it's really, I love these brushes. Just it makes it makes it really easy to make those little shapes and make that a little bit lighter here. You know, I want that to come to a better point. So what I can do, clean my brush out and just take some of my color from my wall and then I can just come back and reshape reshape that dark in there just 
little stones in there. So that's how we paint the sweet potato vine. Again, that just a little touch of happy romance in there. That one need to be reshaped too. So that's how we do it. I really appreciate you watching my YouTube videos. Please subscribe to my channel. And again, visit my blog. The link is in the description below. It's also on the final frame of my YouTube video. And on the blog, you'll see the complete step-by-step -step process of this painting. And you'll get to see how it finishes up. So thanks again, and you just have a fabulous day.